you don't usually associate beautiful works of art with death. Woo! People around the nation are using intense currents of electricity to create unique patterns in wood. They're making the designs with homemade built devices from microwave parts, which are capable of generating thousands of volts of electrical current. It's called fractal burning. And while the process may result in mesmerizing designs, simple mistakes can prove fatal. The horse is on fire big! Completely? Yes! James Carolfi and Tanya Rodriguez were electrocuted while they were wood burning. Their Wisconsin home burst into flames. And they are not alone. At least 33 Americans have lost their lives as they burn patterns into wood after seeing videos online. This is not worth messing around with. These women share a mutual grief. They both lost their husbands to fractal wood burning. He loved our family, and I know that he would have never in a million years done this if he had known that this could be the outcome. Caitlin Schmidt recorded her husband, Matt, showing off his artful designs to their kids. Isn't that neat? That's so neat. Art was something that he always loved. He, even when we were kids, he would draw, he would write. He just loved being busy with his hands and building stuff like that. Two weeks later, their son found Matt dead in the garage. The medical examiner said it was, he was electrocuted and it was from that machine. Brenda Trudell's husband, James, was electrocuted while making the artwork as Christmas gifts for the family. It's heartbreaking. And in a blink of an eye, everyone's life has completely changed. He died a week later. All these people think it's, it's not gonna happen to them. We didn't think it would happen to him. Fractal burning can be safe if left to the professionals who know what they're doing. Chicago artist Eric Beauchamp showed us the carefully controlled method he's perfected, but even with proper equipment and safeguards, he says there's risk. His advice, stay away from the do-it-yourself method. Insanely dangerous, and people who aren't you know, used to working in high-voltage environments, you know, it was a recipe for disaster.